Hey YouTube, how are we doing? It is Wednesday the 15th of January, I believe. Um, yeah, just got back from work, changed into some running gear. So I'm keeping the, if you watch my, my vlog from yesterday, I'm keeping this base layer and the technical tee from uh, greatrun.org. Um, yeah, so keeping these, really liking them. And I've got a nice pair of, I've got a thin pair of leggings on that have got like breathable patches in them and stuff because I'm just getting ready to go for a run around the track, the Sheep Mount Stadium in Carlisle. It's a bit windy outside, it's not wet, but it is quite blowy. I think the wind speed is something like 21 or 22 miles an hour or something, but I'll be okay I'll running around the track for a bit. But what I have got as well, came in the post today from sportsshoes.com. New pair of shoes, which if you've seen the title of the video, you'll know what's in here already. You've got, you know, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm going to whip it open. Wrestle my way in. Get rid of that. Ultra. Let's have a look inside. Pound wine vouch. I don't know why people put these things in. Does anyone ever use these things? Those silly wine vouchers. Little little booklet. All about ultra, finding the right fit, cushioning, the role of cushioning, and so on. Hey, now I didn't get the color, the exact color that I wanted. I wanted the red ones, but they didn't have. Well, I say they didn't have. I'm taking a gamble on the size with these. Oh my god. It's so light, holy moly. These are supposed to be something like 111, well, do you know, it depends where you look. I looked on one website today and they said they're, 100, they're 111 grams. I guess, it, I know it depends on the size of the shoe. Um, and somewhere else told me they were 128 grams, but oh my God, that is so light. That is ridiculous. Um, and there are, and there are, I don't know if anyone knows about Ultra, um, they look kind of, the, the toe box looks kind of weird, and it's because they specifically make them um, to kind of uh, like foot shape. So if you go on their website, they explain this. So they kind of, rather than, rather than, excuse my socks as well, rather than kind of pinching, having a really tight toe box that can pinch your feet, and I find that with um, I've, with hokers that I've tried on, for example, they they feel nice, but they really kind of pinch my shoe, my foot, sorry. And I know I think they do a wide fitting, so I, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm guessing I haven't. I'm hoping I haven't tried a wide fitting because crikey, if I have the standard one, I wouldn't be able to get my big toe in there. Um, but these guys make the toe box a bit a bit wider, so that your foot just sits naturally apparently inside so I've never had a pair of ultras before this is the first pair that I've had um, looks really nice actually uh, very very minimal it's apparently just a 14 millimeter stack height and it's zero these shoes are zero drop uh, and this apparently is ultras first they, they marketed it marketed it as their first true racing flat so this is the kind of shoe that I'm interested in, in very much so, because um, I've explained this before, but for anyone, if this is the first uh, video that anyone's seen of mine, I'm not that bothered about running longer distances, so I'm not bothered about running half marathons, marathons. I am interested in running miles, 5Ks and 10Ks, and that's about it. So this kind of shoe is perfect, definitely for 5K apparently, and I'm told you could, you know, you should be able to get a, a, a be able to run a 10k in one in this in this shoe, pretty easily. So um, look, there's the other one there. There's the the matcher, the match for the pair. Love the sole actually. Um, so yeah, this colorway wasn't exactly the one I wanted. I wanted the red one. Um, now I've got this in a size 10. Now interestingly, I've got a couple of New Balance shoes. I've got uh, a really old pair that I got from TK Maxx, which was something like, I can't remember what they even called, Fuel Core Coast or something like that. Um, and then I've got the Beacon 2s. Now they're both in a size 10, um, and they fit really well. I also own a pair of Socony Kinvara 10s that I bought in a nine and a half. Um, now they fit really well as well. 
I could probably have got a 10 in the Kimbaras, to be honest. Um, but the nine and a halves fit me. Haven't had any trouble running. Haven't run very far in them. I've only done three runs in them. And the furthest I've run in them is um, about seven kilometers. So not that far. Um, these were size 10. I don't know whether I should have got a nine and a half until I put them on. So it'll be interesting. I'm gonna, I am gonna try them on. Now they did say something about in, so when you get them, you get two, wow. They've just got even lighter, obviously, because I've just taken the, holy moly. And the, I don't know if you can see this. I'll try. I don't know if you can see my fingers through that mesh, lots of holes in there. So should be very breathable. Thin laces, so not round laces, very thin laces. Um, an interesting lacing system as well. I don't know if you can pick that up. So there's no like eyelets through here. It's all inside these little rubber bits inside. Really, really thin tongue. Look at that. I mean, that's paper thin. Look at it. You can, you can, you can probably almost see my finger through the, through the tongue. It's absolutely paper thin, so no padding in that tongue at all, which is obviously another reason for having flat laces. You do not want those digging into the top of your foot, because um, that would not be that would not be comfortable at all. Uh, now they told me that there were two insoles inside each shoe, but I can only actually feel one, so that's not a problem. Um, and it's got, it says on the bottom there, propel plate. Again, looking on their website, I mentioned uh, that the midsole, what they actually say, durable exposed springy EVA with propel plate. Um, yeah. We'll see what it's like to run in. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna slip one on just quick, real quick now, and just see if I can get my foot in there. Let's pop that open. I suspect that thin tongue is gonna take a little bit of adjusting. Wow, I can't even get my foot in it. Maybe I should have gone for a size 11. I'll just loosen the laces a bit more. And maybe I'll need to take that, wow. Maybe I'll need to take that insole out. Holy cow. Now that, wow. Oh my God. Yeah, that tongue just needs a little bit of, of maneuvering around to get it comfortable over the top of your foot. Right, I definitely do not want a nine and a half. My toe, I'll try and move around. I don't really want to move the camera. My big toe is literally here and the end of the shoe is here. So there's, there is about, there's about a, a, a thumb width at most between the end of my toe and the end of the shoe. Um, and yeah, it feels pretty comfortable with it on at the moment. Um, yeah, I think we'll see what that's like to run in tonight, actually. I'm going to go down the track, I think. Um, have a little run around. I don't know how far I'll run in them um, because they're like brand new, new running experience for me. So I'm just going to do a quick run. There's not in that, but I like to double bow it as well because better to be safe than sorry. Wow. That's pretty swish, actually. I do, I don't dislike the color. I, I, I would have preferred the red, but you know, hey. First impression, pretty good, actually. I'm really liking it. Feels comfortable. Doesn't feel uncomfortable. I'm just gonna stand up with one shoe on and see. Yeah, very light. Um, there isn't a lot of there isn't a lot in the in the in the midsole. It's not it's not really springy or anything. Although admittedly, I'm just on my bathroom floor, so um, we'll see what it's like on the track. I, I spent on the track probably better, nicer than on the pavement, obviously, because the the track will be slightly slightly more forgiving uh, than pavement. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. I think, and I got them quite. They're quite cheap on um, sportsshoes.com. So you don't pay full price for these anyway. So it was, you know, it was, it was um, just slightly over half price or, or, it, or just like two thirds of the price for like a brand new pair. So they're worth checking out. I'll put a link to them below in case they're, they're a, a, a place that you don't know. 
and I ordered them like two days ago and they came today so no problem with with um, ordering the shoe and no problem with delivery so I'm actually very happy um, the box looks slightly I was a little bit worried actually when I first, when I first pulled it out because I thought crikey is someone it's just like second hand but um, no they're not they're absolutely brand spanking new they've never been they've never been worn so yeah really happy um, okay listen look I'm gonna cut it off because it's like 10 minutes but my first impression of these yeah very good really light like it gonna go and give them a run and then I'll catch up with you later either tonight or tomorrow and I'll give you my first impressions of actually running in the shoe okay listen take care just in case I don't come back tonight wherever you are have a great evening and if you're going out running, as usual, watch out for cars, keep safe, and I will catch you later. Take care, bye. Hey everyone, just a quick catch up video. I've just come back from the track where I've had a run around in these uh, new ultras. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow just to give you my, um, my proper first impressions of the shoes, uh, having now worn them for a little uh, trip around the track. Um, yeah. Uh, I did actually think to myself as I was running around the track, I made that video and I, I appreciate that the, sh the, the model of the shoe is going to be in the title of this video, but I never actually, I don't think I actually said which shoe it was, um, and it's the Vanish R, so it's the Ultra Vanish R that, um, that I purchased and that I'm, I've still actually got on my feet. As I'm as I'm recording this, so I'm going to whip them off. Got a, a bath on the go. Um, going to jump in there with some Epsom salts. Um, and yeah, great, uh, great evening. I'll do a, I'll do a video tomorrow with my um, proper thoughts on them, and also just sort of having a having had a chance to have a look at the figures from Strava. So I say, obviously, I, I, well, I record all my runs on Strava. My link to my Strava is in the description. So you're very welcome to have a look at me on there and, and, and please do follow me. Um, yeah, uh, catch you tomorrow and I'll let you know what I think. Take care. And if, you, if you're going out running, watch out for cars. <laughs> See you later. Bye.